Hormones are chemical signals that coordinate different parts of an organism. In general, plant hormones control growth and development by affecting the division, elongation, and differentiation of cells. There are eight major classes of plant hormones. Oxin, including indole 3 acetic acid or IAA, is derived from the amino acid tryptophan. They are synthesized in apical marrow stems and young leaves. Oxins mainly function in cell elongation. Cytokinins are isoprenoids derived from isoprings. They are synthesized in roots and mainly functions in cell division. Gibberellins are isoprenoids synthesized in apical marrow stems. It functions in plant development. Abscisic acid, abbreviated as ABA, are isoprenoids synthesized in all cells. They mainly function in maintaining dormancy. Ethylene is a gaseous plant hormone derived from methionine. It is synthesized in all cells and mainly functions in ripening. Brucinol steroids are plant steroid hormones derived from cholesterol. They are synthesized in all cells and mainly function in growth. Strigolactones are derived from carotenoids and are synthesized in roots in response to decreased phosphate or increased auxin. They mainly function in attraction of mycorrhizae, which is the symbiotic association between fungi and roots. Finally, jasminates are derived from linoleic acid and are synthesized by many cells. Jasminates mainly functions in immunity. Now I'm going to cover how plant hormones affect specific organs and components. Stem elongation is stimulated by low concentration of auxin, as well as gibberellins and brucinol steroids. According to the acid growth hypothesis, auxin stimulates proton pumps in the plasma membrane, which lowers the pH in the cell wall, activating expansins, which are enzymes that loosen the cell wall's fabric. With the cellulose loosened, the cell can then elongate. Cell elongation is actually the major mechanism in plant growth. Cell division in stem can be stimulated by cytokinin and brucinol steroids. And stem elongation and cell division are inhibited by abscisic acid, abbreviated as ABA. On the other hand, cell divisions in roots is also stimulated by cytokinin and inhibited by abscisic acid. Root growth is stimulated by low concentration of brucinol steroids, as well as auxin, jasminates, and ethylene, which also stimulates the growth of root hairs. Leaf senescence, or the aging of leaves, is stimulated by abscisic acid and inhibited by cytokinins. Leaf abscission, or the falling of leaves, is stimulated by ethylene and inhibited by auxin. Flower development is stimulated by auxin and jasminate. Flowering is stimulated by ethylene, and nectar production is stimulated by jasminates. Pollen development is stimulated by gibberellins and jasminates and pollen tube formation is stimulated by gibberellins, jasminates, and brucinol steroids. Seed development is stimulated by gibberellins. Seed dormancy is promoted by abscisic acid to prevent early germination of seeds. Seed germination is stimulated by cytokinins, brucinol steroids, and strigolactones. The growth of fruit from ovary is stimulated by auxin and gibberellins. The ripening of fruit is stimulated by ethylene and jasminates. A combination of different hormones regulate apical dominance, which stimulates apical marrow stems and inhibits lateral buds, essentially making plants grow taller. Apical dominance is stimulated by auxin and strigolactones, and inhibited by cytokinins, which results in bushier plants. In the last portion of the video, I'm going to cover other major functions in each plant hormones. Auxin also plays an important role in phototropism, the bending of plants towards light, Gravitropism, plants' response to gravity, and increasing vascular differentiation. More details about phototropism and gravitropism will be covered in a future video on plant responses to stimuli. Cytokinins also function in promoting the movement of nutrients from source to sink, which has been covered in my previous video on plant transport. Cytokinin also promotes the growth of lateral bud, thereby opposing apical dominance. Gibberellins also play a role in sex determination, as well as transition of plants from juveniles to adult phase. An important function of abscisic acid is drought response by stimulating stomatal closure and promoting tolerance to desiccation or water loss. Ethylene also plays a role in triple response to mechanical stress, which allows a growing shoot to avoid obstacle. The triple response consists of a slowing of stem elongation, a thickening of the stem, and horizontal growth. Brucinol steroids can promote xylem differentiation and inhibit phloem differentiation. 
As mentioned earlier, strigolactone is mainly responsible for attraction of mycorrhizal fungi to roots, enhancing plant roots absorption of water and minerals. Finally, an important function of jasmine is immunity. Jasminates are produced in response to herbivory and pathogen invasion. Jasminates also promotes the coiling of tendrils, which are specialized stem or leaf that are used by climbing plants for support.